Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Bobby with Last Swim Customs here, and we're going to be checking out a new old mold today. And what I mean by that is basically this is a mold that's been around for a while, but it was only available in a four cavity. I actually reached out to Epic Bait Molds and said, hey, do you guys have any plans on upsizing this? I know you've been upsizing some other molds. Is this one of the molds you have planned to upsize, or do I need to buy two uh, four cavities? So they messaged me back right away, said, yeah, well, we can absolutely do an eight cavity. So a few days go by and they messaged me and said, we got an eight cavity ready. If you want to check it out, it's on the website. I went on there and purchased it. And now we have a hands on a eight cavity, 2.5 inch Ned Crawl. So we're going to be looking at that today. Uh, along with your order, you get your thank you card with your name wrote on it and a couple of awesome Epic Bait Mold stickers. And this is what we're most excited about. Uh, I have had the four cavity before, but as somebody who sells baits primarily, uh, a four cavity just isn't enough for me. So it's nice to have an eight cavity where I can shoot this, make a bag of baits, and not have to go back and shoot it twice, or buy two four cavities like I was going to do uh, if they didn't have plans on making this an eight cavity. So let's get some closer looks at this and mix up some plastic. We'll shoot a color or two, and I have a bunch made back here already so the finish on this mold is not going to be perfect like it is normal from epic bait molds i've shot this mold a bunch just so that i will have a bunch of these on the store when this video launches i'm going to be doing a huge restock so stick around for that more information on that a little bit later in the video so let's get some uh, color mixed up i think we're going to do some monkey milk to start out with and go from there All right, if you're not familiar with this mold here, this is a rounded side here. Got eyes on this side, which looks awesome. And this is a flat side for the underneath, and it has some smooth ribbing there. And just gives it a little bit of contrast, a little differentiation, so it isn't all the same, uh, kind of as a symmetrical bait would be. Works super awesome on a net head, one of my favorite ways to present this. Uh, I like that the uh, pinchers here are so big. Definitely gives it a lot of movement in the water. One of my favorite designs from Epic Bait Molds. Okay, if you are not familiar with my monkey milk color, I like to do 40 drops a cup. This is two cups, so I'm going to do uh, 80 drops of this Bait Plastics Premium Monkey Milk. And for a little bit of uh, contrast, I like to add some small black flake. This is 0 0.015 black from Bait Plastics as well. So let's get this mixed up. All right, let's mix it up. Love the blue that comes through that. Okay, and then we'll just go around the edge, get anything off the edge. Wow, you can really see the blue there. Nice. Sometimes it's hard to pick it up on camera, but I guess the lighting's just right in here today. You'll definitely see that stuff coming through there. Doesn't take a whole lot of plastic. It's been way too long since I've shot this color. Yeah, so like I was talking about, there's going to be a big restock here on uh, the channel and on the store. So I spent about uh, seven hours yesterday shooting baits, and that's a long time. You can do a lot of baits in seven hours. When this video launches, there should be at least 15 bags of just these in different colors. Uh, you can see back here, uh, already restocked a lot of the green pumpkin brown uh, as well as the mystic june bug i shot a bunch of green dawn which is over here i shot a bunch of the hyper shift which is over here the glow which is our bright chartreuse and our uh, red plum so we'll have lots of options available on the store i made a bunch of swim baits uh, i'm going to spend a majority of tonight editing this video and bagging and when this launches we should be good to go this is now topped off. We'll wait and do a little bit of a demold. I'm going to pull this and shoot some other molds so we'll have more monkey milk uh, on the store when this launches. And we'll wait and do a little bit of a demold. 
All right, let's do a little demold of this monkey milk. And I was thinking, since I had so many of these made, it'd probably just be better just to show you guys what I have made so you don't have to sit through me injecting all of these. And we'll get to check out lots of colors this way. Pull them out of the mold. Wow. Not bad at all. I like the uh, semi-transparent colors, especially in this mold. Not too shabby. Pretty nice. Lots of blue coming through there. There you can see the flat side, how it's got that smooth ribbing there. Then you flip it over and it's got that uh, more of a round side and some little eyes on it there. Not a uh, phenomenal color to see a ton of detail, but they look really good. And we'll get to check out a lot of colors here in just a second. All right, all the colors that I've made in this mold up to this point have been standard colors, colors I keep around all year. This is going to be a custom color, and I just figured it'd be nice to throw it in there, and it'll give uh, a little sneak peek at something that will be on the store when you see this. This is what I call black gold, or I've, I think I've even called it uh, maybe gold rush before. Uh, so it's a black with a lot of chartreuse, real bright uh, gold colored flake. It's more chartreuse than gold, but in this black it looks looks more gold, I would say. These will look really nice when we go ahead and demold these. Give us just a minute, we'll cool these off and crack them open. Okay, let's take a look at this custom color, shall we? Okay, got it cracked open shed some light on the subject that is what i call black gold gold rush something like that black with a lot of gold flake just looks awesome i don't really keep this color around because i already have a black that has blue flake and i think i like it just as much and i don't know if i would want to run two colors that were so close but this will be a custom color available on the store i'll have at least a couple bags of these and if i have enough plastic left over I might have some 2.75 inch Ned crawlers as well in this color. Okay, here is the partial lineup. This is the blue crawl here, which is, I call it mud bug. This is the motor oil version that I have. It's called Hyper Shift. This is the black gold we just made, which is a custom color that won't stick around. This is Glow, which is a MF Chartreuse blend. This is a Red Plum. And this is the monkey milk we made, obviously. And over here we have some Green Dawn. And this is all some stuff that's going to hit the store later today. This is the Mystic June Bug, which you already have bagged up, as well as some uh, Green Pumpkin Brown. And I've got some stuff on uh, some custom racks over here that's going to be hitting, uh, as well as some racks on some uh, other side of the shop here. Yeah, now let's get into a little bit of rigging. As far as rigging goes, it doesn't get any simpler than this. Throw this baby on a net head, bounce it along the bottom. You'll feel a fish pick it up. Give him a second and let him have it. It is about as easy as it gets as far as rigging and fishing. Great bait for beginner because lots of fish love a net rig. And yeah, it is a very good crawl imitation. Definitely will be good. You can also use a weedless net head if you're going to be fishing it around brush or maybe some rocks which isn't a bad idea since it is a crawl imitation but yeah that is about as easy as it gets for a bait and just figured i would mention it in case anybody didn't know how to rig a net head odds are if you're watching this video you know how to rig a net so that is uh just a little bit of how i do it there's probably multiple ways to do it but that is how i do it and hopefully it helps. So there you have it. Pretty basic video, but like I said, I shot bait seven hours yesterday. So to be honest, I'm kind of ready to edit this video and take a nap. But if you want to pick up this mold, uh, I will leave a link in the description where you can pick this mold up. Uh, I would have covered this a little more in depth had this been a new mold, but this is just an upscaling from the four cavity that already existed for uh, quite a long time now. If you want to pick up any baits from me, I'll leave a link in the description below. By the time you're watching this, everything that I have should be on the store. Like I said, I have all kinds of stuff going on the store later today, and I can't wait to uh, share all of that stuff with you guys. You guys are an awesome community. Always support the channel, and I just can't thank you guys enough for all you do for the community and for me uh, to be able to keep doing this stuff for you guys. Uh, 
Weather's been beautiful. Got a lot of time in the shop. Super thankful for that. And it's gave me a lot of opportunity to really get some stuff turned out. But I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, want to see more bait making stuff, like and subscribe. And keep up to date with all the stuff that's going to be coming out here in the future. Appreciate you watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one.